Welcome to Hammy's Barbecue and Grilling. This is my first YouTube channel, my first YouTube video, so I appreciate you making time with me today. Uh, a little bit about myself. I live in uh, Southern California, in Greater Los Angeles, specifically Orange County. And it's a little gray here today. This is our famous June gloom, but still a nice day to make a video. I've been in charcoal grilling now for nine years, and I've been doing gas grilling a little bit longer than that. I'm hoping to share some tips and tricks, and would appreciate your like or subscribe if you like what you see, and please leave a comment. Today I'm going to be going ahead and cleaning up my gas grill. I want to sell it because I found a killer deal on a Weber grill at Costco. So I'm going to be placing my grill on for sale at OfferUp or Craigslist. So we're going to go ahead and give it a little, little detail. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to show you my materials and supplies for today. Uh, first thing I'm going to have are some uh, nitrile, uh, basically rubber gloves, disposable gloves. Um, a cleaner called Crud Cutter, maybe you've heard of it. It's very similar to Simple Green. It's concentrated. You can do a million things with it. It's biodegradable. It's non-toxic. I think it works great. So I've got that in a spray bottle at uh, full concentration. I've got a plastic scraper. I've got a water bottle full of just water. I've got some blue disposable shop towels. I've got some stainless steel cleaner, aerosol can. And the directions on that say to use uh, some different cloths for polishing and cleaning. So I have a big supply of cloths. Also, for all the gunk I'm going to clean out of my grill, I do have a regular old plastic shopping bag for trash. So let's take a look about what we're going to do today. I've got a Charbroil brand Performance grill, five burners. Um, it's stainless steel on the top and basically black painted metal around the sides and around the front. And I'm going to be breaking it down and doing a detail. Okay, so... I've got uh, my grill open and I'm going to take out, got my nitro gloves on, I'm going to take out the top grill rack and I'm going to place it right here behind my grill. Got a little place with cinder blocks back here, pa pa paper stones for cleaning which I'll show you in just a moment. These happen to be cast iron grates. There's a total of three. And what I'm about to show you is your situation may be different. It works for cast iron, it works for um, porcelain covered ones, uh, stainless steel covered ones, all of it. Next thing I'm going to do is take these things out. I don't know what they're called, we'll call them a tent. <laughs> There's a total of five, one for each burner. They already have some gunk on them, as you can tell, falling off. We're going to put those in the back. We'll place them up here. And then there's actually a removable tray. We'll do that in a moment. So next we have our three cast iron grates laid out, as well as our top warming rack. I've got these... Um, paver patio stones made out of center block in our little yard back here. You can put newspaper under these if you want or plastic kitchen trash bags. I find it rinses out fine for me but do what you want to do. So I'm going to take the crud cutter concentrated in full strength and of course it's not spraying on my first video. There we go. I'm just going to give it a really liberal spray and we'll do the same thing with all the other ones so I forgot to mention I was looking at all my videos during the editing process and I didn't record the part apparently where I lifted up the grates or I scrubbed the grates excuse me you saw where I lifted the grates and I put them behind the grill in my cleaning area but I didn't show you the scrubbing I basically uh, soaked them, soaked, saturated them with a really good spray, a crud cutter, let it sit for 10 minutes, sprayed it a little bit again, used the aluminum, the, uh, excuse me, stainless steel cleaner, and scrubbed them, rinsed them really well with the hose. You can tell I'm a rookie here. <laughs> I thought I used my uh, remote control button okay for the video taping, but um, I forgot I didn't have it on Bluetooth. My first video, what are you going to do? 
So, covered these in crud cutter for 10 minutes. I just put in some more, put on some more crud cutter. Get a little scrub with the stainless steel scrubber. We're not going to worry about the inside because that's where the heat comes directly from the flames. You can have a look at that part. So, before and after. A little better, at least enough for myself. And for you if you want to do a deep clean once or twice a year for your gas grill. Did all five. Just give them a nice rinse of water from the hose. And, uh, and they're looking a lot better. Still got some gunk on them, but for my sale or occasional uh, for you at home, occasional once a year cleaning, it's a lot better than, than how it was. Okay, so now we're going to get into the interior of our grill. Uh, I forgot to mention, when you use crud cutter or simple green or any type of cleaner, make sure you follow the directions. Crud cutter is pretty basic though. So it's important not to spray into the burners. Just be real delicate with it. I'm not going to worry about the top. I did that last time. It got all pretty and after one cook, it was all dark again. So I'm going to leave that be. Let that sit for a few minutes. Same with here. You won't be able to see it at home, but it's cutting through the grease really good, at least over here. This part I cleaned a little bit last night as a test, so it's already kind of halfway done. But I'm going to gently spray the crud cutter on that. Let that sit longer. And that comes back pretty quickly too, so if I don't get it perfect, it's not a big deal. It's important to have an idea when you look at your grill, what you're getting into. I've had this thing for two years. I didn't realize until yesterday, when I was looking for the model number for a part, that it actually has, I hope you can see this. It actually has a tray. It comes out. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna take our scrubber. Now this is where the, wa the water bottle, the spray bottle of water comes in handy because you don't, you're not going to run a hose through here. Much better than it did before. Okay. Now, I'm going to take out the tray. Give you a close up what it looks like. That's asparagus from God knows when. Overall gunk. I'm going to move it to my little cleaning station and then we'll have another uh, another look at it. Okay. So this is where... Oops, sorry. Forgot my stainless steel scrubber. with me out there folks thank you okay this is where the plastic bag comes in handy and especially the rubber gloves and I got a plastic scraper here asparagus so what I'll do take the scraper This is one reason statistically, I've read on this in more than one occasion, this is where, this is why there tend to be more gas girl fires in the United States than charcoal. I've read that in more than one occasion. You can do your research to be sure. But see how easily it comes up with just the scraper? I'm going to put it in my, oops, I 
guess you could use a uh, metal scraper too. Plastic seems to work just fine. Okay. Now we're going to give it a good Actually, sorry. That's all gunk. We'll get rid of that. Well, looks like just fat and gunk. I do a lot of ribeyes out here. That's a fire hazard. So I'm glad I saw it. I'll give it a little shake, cover it in the crud cutter, and we'll let this sit for five or ten minutes. Okay, we're back at it. It's been about ten minutes. Got all the gunk we already got out just with the scraper. I'm going to shake. I'm not left handed, but this way you can see what's going on. This is a plate with some gunk in it. Uh, a little bit. I'm going to have to I'll try to take it out of the paper towel. You can, there's a bolt and a nut, but I'm afraid with two years of heavy use on this grill, they're gonna strip. So, do that. Oh, we can do that too. Why not? Water. And then we'll get our microfiber towel. You can use any old rag, cloth, make sure it's clean. Voila. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Give it another rinse with the spray bottle of water. And look at all the junk, all the gunk and crud that we got out of there. Not too bad. Try to do a basic cleaning of my grill. It's every two months or so, every three months. And then once a year I'll do a detailed cleaning like this, or in this case, because I'm gonna sell it. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Now we're gonna do crud cutter on the side table. We don't have to let this sit as much. And I'm just going to have an angle on this right side table. You won't see me right now, but you'll hear me. I'm applying crud cutter to the side burner as well. Let it... Let it... Uh, and 
give it a good scrub. Bear with me, there's a plane going over. I didn't film this, but um, my stainless steel scrubber was getting a little old gunk. So I gave it a good stream of water from the hose. And that cleaned it up just fine. Okay. And we're gonna get our water. One thing about crud cutter, it's just like simple green and a lot of cleaners out there. A lot of rinsing. A lot of rinsing. And then we're gonna get our shop towels. Comes off pretty well. I'll have to clean my wall a little later, but hey, shows it's working. I'll throw that over there. If you've never used these shop towels before, they sell them in bulk at Costco and probably Sam's Club or BJ's, wherever you live. But much better. Okay. Okay. We're just about done. We're going to get the very front of it clean and then polish the stainless steel lid. Listen very carefully. This is where you have to be careful with crud cutter. Um, this happened to me with another cleaner last time I did a deep clean. It started to take off the writing on here. So I just did a test with the crud cutter and where it says performance, that's the model number. It kind of took a little bit of it off. So in a perfect world, next time I would um, dilute crud cutter according to the directions for general cleaning on the bottle. But it seems to be okay with just a paper towel. Okay, we're at our final step. We've got Sprayway brand stainless steel cleaner and polish. I think it works pretty good, easy to use. Give it a good shake. Spray it around your stainless steel pretty liberally. Try not to get the temperature gauge. And if you've ever waxed or polished a car, you're going to use one cloth or side of the cloth to um, oops, let's get that a little better to give it its initial clean there's some, some caked on stuff here but overall it looks better again this thing's not new it's Years old. Get the handle. So that's one cloth. And then this one I've used before, but I'm going to get a clean side and just give it a nice shine, just like a car. Looking pretty good. So overall, I think it looks a lot better. It's my first time doing crud cutter on a gas grill. In the future for the insides, I would probably use Goo Gone foaming cleaner, grill and oven cleaner. But I think crud cutter works great. It worked great for the grates. It worked great for the tray, the grease tray, grease trap. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. Pretty shiny. Did a basic cleaning down here with crud cutter and water. Thank you for spending time with me today, my first YouTube video, my new channel. Hope you learned something you can apply yourself or pass on to friends and be prepared for more videos. Thanks so much.